My name is Bella. You can hear my dog being in the background. What are you doing? In my swamp. I can't start a video like that. My name's Bella. I started this on Monday and all the footage from Monday is really terrifyingly awkward. So I've only kept a few clips in. Enjoy. do all my steps in the morning so when I get home at night I can basically just eat my dinner and go to sleep that's how exciting my life is I wake up I go to the gym I go for my walk I go to work and I come home and have dinner and I go to sleep but I love it Wednesday. I'm on my Wednesday morning walk and I'm a bit of a routine girly and this is the day that I order all my groceries on my walk and then after work tonight I will go and pick them up because I do meal prep so I actually meal prep my breakfast lunch and dinners and it's just really easy and I actually really enjoy cooking all the food and it's kind of something for me to do on a weeknight and yeah it just means i don't have to make any decisions decision fatigue is something that i deal with often and that tends to make me make the wrong decisions when it comes to eating but i just have to think rationally and my milk prep's already there and i just grab it and i know that i can eat exactly what's there and it's really yummy actually it's actually so nice that the weather's starting to get warmer here in Melbourne because it's still really cold. It was three degrees in the car when we were on the way to the gym this morning, but the sun's finally coming out. It's rising a bit earlier. It's setting a bit later, and I'm just so excited for spring and summer. I feel like it's the months of the year that I actually look forward to the most and that go the fastest. Not the best, but not the worst angle. It's getting ready. I've got my moisturizer and my sunscreen on. And I was watching back the clips that I filmed on Monday and I kind of just can't believe how different they are to how I feel right now about all this. Very awkward. I don't really know if I'm going to keep them in. I get ready for work. It is eight o'clock, 8.03. I like to leave in probably 10 minutes. And my makeup probably takes me seven, and then I put all my food in my lunchbox, and I go to work. And my makeup routine isn't strenuous or anything. I work as a bookkeeper, so I work in an office for different businesses, and I have my own clients, and I just finished my diploma in accounting, and now I have a lot of free time, so that's why I kind of wanted to start doing this. I really like being creative, and I haven't gotten to really be creative in a while. I love doing creative stuff and I really love my job. I work with such a great group of people, but I also think that I want to get sent packages from companies and film my days and make fun videos. So yeah, I have a coach and her name's Chloe and Chloe is my wife. I love Chloe. 
and I sometimes send her videos, but I just don't think it's the same. It's going to be a little bit different. I think that I'm just going to speed through this now. I'm getting a tattoo on Thursday. I only got my first tattoo a couple of weeks ago. I got this 11. You probably can't see it. With Will. And I'm going to get another tattoo on Thursday, and I'm really excited about that. So I'm going to do my meal prep tonight. I'll show you guys that. And then I'll take you to my tattoo on Thursday. And then it'll be the weekend, and I'll just show you what I do on the weekend. So happy Wednesday. I get my lashes done. It's so good that I don't have to take my mascara off at night time. That's the other reason I like to get my lashes done. Have a good day. Normally I have a curry or veggies and rice for lunch. I've been obsessed with this Stubbs barbecue sauce, hickory bourbon barbecue sauce, and Will got us all onto it and it's so good. And I really missed having rice this week because I didn't have rice in my meal prep that I had. I made burrito bowls, but I just did beans and corn and veggies and I miss rice. So chicken, rice, and broccoli and beans and Stubbs sauce. Wait, mum, are going to be influenced. Cool. What are you going to influence? Well done. You can't eat the pasties. The, I made him pasta, pasta, but they oh, had um, fibre pasta. Fiber pasta. Don't it's buy fibre pasta. We buy protein pasta. Yeah. Watch out. Nah, nah. But that'll offer them, right? Definitely does. Oh, well, I'm not like a rumba. <laughs> <laughs> my tattoo got moved to a different date, which is okay. I'm at home. I just had my dinner. And I'm going to show you the dessert that I have every single night. yogurt on top of the wee bits. It kind of gets a bit messy sometimes, but it's okay. 
Normally I do three big spoonfuls in each and then once I've done that, then I dip it out a bit more. Yum, this just looks like icing. Oh, it tastes so good. This is smallest flavoured, so it's like chocolate and then they're not really marshmallows, but it has like these little marshmallowy bits in it. And yeah, it's kind of amazing. So yummy. They just kind of look like that at this stage. That one's perfect. Oh, yum. I think the most important thing is that you make sure that all of the wheat bits are covered in the yogurt because sometimes they go a little bit dry. But don't make them too wet because when it's too wet then it's like baby food and that's really gross. Next is frozen berries. Normally I have the peanut butter, but there's no peanut butter. I might use Nutella if that sounds fun. This says 50% less sugar, but even though it's less sugar, if you looked at the calories, this is exactly the same as normal Nutella. So if you want normal Nutella, just have normal Nutella. I eat a lot of fruit. So I get a lot of sugar from fruit, so I just like to get this because it makes me feel a little bit better about not having too much sugar. But if there was normal Nutella, I would also have normal Nutella. Speaking of fruit, berries is my next thing. I track my food and I know that everybody has their own opinion on tracking, but I have tracked eating in a surplus and I am now tracking eating in a deficit. And it's actually really been great for my mindset around food to track in both a surplus and a deficit. So yeah, if you don't think that tracking's for you, then you don't have to track. I love frozen berries. I can't wait for mangoes and passion fruits in summertime. Oh, I just love summertime. Um, my birthday's in November, and then it's Christmas time, and Will's birthday's in November, and this is just a really fun time of the year. They did say that it's going to be a wet summer, but I mean, that's okay. So this is what they look like now. Yum. And lastly is this. I might do... that much that's gonna be 16 grams perfect oh yeah this is so good and this is my breakfast it's like cake it's so yummy and it keeps me really full when i was doing my surplus i would have three wheat beaks a little bit more berries a little bit more yogurt and you can just alter it that's the one thing i found in a deficit that all you need to do is just change the amount of food that you have. You can still have the exact same meals, but just now you have less cheese or less of the high calorie dense things. And you can still eat exactly what you want to have, which is kind of amazing. Like putting Nutella on my breakfast in a deficit. That's kind of exactly what I'm here for. I keep these in the freezer and they last me, I make six. So on Sunday, we normally have eggs. I'm, I like to have English muffin, eggs, avocado. We'll like super kalumi and bacon. I will put these now in the freezer if there's any room. I have a little thing in the freezer. The last thing I need to make now for my week is my tuna pasta bake. I was gonna make that this morning, but it takes a little bit to cook. It doesn't take long to make, it just takes a little bit to cook. I brought myself a present. I brought myself a MacBook and I'm so excited to play with it. I have an Acer laptop, which is right here. And I'll still need to use that for work, but not gonna lie, doing this whole video stuff has brought me a lot of joy this last week. And I really needed a hobby like this. And I just felt the need that I needed something like this in my life. Wow, opening any Apple product is just like so nice. Oh, wow. There is like something on there. Yeah. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. 
So that's my Friday night. I will be setting this up. It's Sunday, it's raining, and I'm going to cook my chicken pasta bit. I love cooking this because it's like so easy. And all I have to do is put pasta and put all my ingredients in a pot. That's my dog. That's just her sparkle that she has. She's a cabbie, and that's just the thing that they do. Are you okay? Earlier this week, Will said that he couldn't eat five of my stuff. This is the one that we normally get. It says protein. Got one that said fiber. I didn't really think it was going to be that bad, but it actually is very bad. Don't get the fiber one, get the protein one. I will put this one full bag. Two tins of tuna. Lego's tuna bake. Heaps of garlic. So basically all you have to do is get your tuna out of the tuna tin, which is probably the hardest part, and then put all the ingredients that I just said in the pot, and then put the pasta in once that's done, put cheese on top, and then you put it in the oven. I need to turn the oven on. I'll do that in a sec. Actually, I should do that on it. Anyone else's family to store things in the oven? Because that seems to be... Maybe a little bit of water too. And it gets all the sauce out. So now I will mix this. I might use some of these. The lid of this pot broke, RIP. I will cover it with oil and cook it for about probably 40 minutes. So this is what she looks like now. How delicious. Kind of looks like cat food, but tastes really, really good. Once my pasta's cooked, I will just put the pasta in with that. too long the pasta on its own then it gets really mushy and you have to mix this all together so probably just a little bit not even undercooked I don't know proceed with caution is what I should say but once that is all mixed thirty times seven two hundred and ten That was 100 grams, that was pretty satisfying. Where are my scissors? I'm gonna make seven out of this one pot, so that's 30 grams per serve. And I, again, I just pour half. I might actually use this. And then I sort of just stir it into like the top layer, just so the top layer has like a little bit of cheesiness. I pour the rest on top. Oh, yum. 
Now, as I said, the lid broke. I'm going to cover it with foil. And I will stick her in the oven for 45. Yeah. If I haven't done my meal prep during the week, I do all of it. And I've already done my lunches and breakfast, as you would have seen. And yeah, I'll go to the gym once this is all cooked and I'm um, finished, you know, doing all my other stuff. My relationship that I've had with myself has just like uber excelled these last few months. And I just feel so comfortable being alone. And the routine that I've created for myself is just like, everything to me and I love it. I live such a happy life and I'm really grateful every day. It is absolutely pouring outside. It was sunny at about like seven o'clock this morning. I should have gone for my walk in, but that's okay. It is bucketing down. Now I will cook this. I will just be hanging out for a little bit and then once this is all sorted, I will go to the gym.